Okay, I'm Malu, and I work as um, marketing at The Rock Space, and I'm here interviewing Nadia Ishmael. I'm here at Stone and Shadow. We're a holistic boutique in Hamilton, Ontario. Awesome. So, uh, the first question I had for you is how did um, Stone and Shadow come to be? How, like, what was your inspiration for it? How did you... Yeah. Probably a long story, but... Um... Yeah, well, I mean, it's, been, it's been evolution, honestly. Uh, I've been creative since I was six years old. I was always using my hands, crocheting and knitting and, and creating something and sewing. Um, so, doing something creative was always just part of who I... I've always been. Um, the skincare line is actually the first thing that started back in, um, I, I don't even know what year it was, so 21 <laughs> years ago when my nephew was born. Um, my brother was very adamant that we have, you know, all natural products for him. So that kind of initiated my research into what we put on our skin and how important it is. So started working with baby products and making skincare products. So the products behind me really kind of started there. Uh, moving in over the years, bringing in the creativity, learning a little bit more about crystals, uh, about jewelry making. I started playing around with making bracelets and, and wire wrapping and um, understanding the energy around us. A really good friend of mine who ended up being my Reiki master uh, was working with energy work at the same time. I was learning a little bit more about crystals. So we combined those two things. Um, started creating, started learning, started teaching, started teaching each other. And again, it's just kind of evolved over time. So there's, I can't say that there was one day that it started and I said, here's going to be <laughs> a business called Stone and Shadow. <laughs> it's just parts of me have been put into one space and things that have collected along the way and, and things that I love and things I love to do have brought this space to be what it is today. That's awesome. Well, it's an yeah. awesome space. Thank and I feel you. like every business grows that way, right? Especially yeah. if you have the passion for it. For sure. It's not just like a one time go yeah. it wasn't like here's a business idea let's do it it's just like here's what i'm doing maybe other people will like it yeah that's that's really more so what it turned into so what's yeah. your favorite product that you've developed or what's your favorite <laughs> um space in the store or something yeah. that you you give to to your clients and yeah <laughs> so i love the fact that we have created a space that's safe for others um you See, we've locked the door today <laughs> for this, um, but there are many times that people will walk in and having a really bad day or having having a time that they're struggling with and walk through the door and I literally can see them breathe and release. And if we need to lock the door and have a conversation or give them space to do that uh, or to cry or to laugh or to just vent, um, that I think is what I love most about what we've been able to do, whether it's myself here, whether it's Blaze or Genevieve, who we both have have both of them in the, in the store at different times as well. Um, they also really, really nurture that type of energy. So that's the first thing about the space mm -hmm. that, that not only has it been created that way, but it's been able to, to continue in that. Um, Product-wise, it's tough to pick. I love creating, <laughs> so I love my wire wraps. I love doing jewelry um, and creating because each piece is so different. Um, but at the same time, you know, I love the, the skincare, the, yeah. the chemistry of it and the process of you know, feeling like that mad scientist. Like there's, again, I don't think there there's could be one thing that I could say is, is my favorite because this is a collection of my favorite things. Like we were saying, yeah. the, the bringing up of the, the business, right? Yes. It's a collection of everything. Exactly. You can't really pick your favorite. It's like picking your favorite child. child. Right, exactly. <laughs> and this is my baby and all of the babies within the baby. So, so yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all love here. Awesome. So do you have a funny story or like a story that comes to mind mm -hmm. over the years that really um, caught your attention? Like can be funny, can be sad, can be... I don't know about funny, but I think there's been a lot of lessons. I think um, the most important lesson probably that I've learned is, is to 100% tap into who I am. I think a lot of the times we we as in me <laughs> you I but a lot of people can relate that we worry about what other people are doing and how they're doing it um, how we can um, you know mimic other things or, or be more like somebody else and what I found is that the most um, the most honorable and the best feeling that I've ever had is just to be exactly who I am so there's a little bit of 
hip hop gangster, and there's a little <laughs> bit of princess, and there's a little bit of you know earth tone and and uh, hippie, and and whoever that is, and whoever comes out at the moment is still me, and not trying to pretend. Um, I feel like that connects with people so much better, mm. and I think being able to share those lessons with others as well when they're you know developing their businesses or even just developing relationships. Um, that's that's probably been the most important thing to, to share with others. So maybe that's, that's awesome. a funny of a story, but no, definitely. it's a life lesson, right? <laughs> yes, like exactly. don't don't really suppress <laughs> anything. Yeah, um, be who you are. Yeah, exactly. for sure. So, what's been the biggest hurdle of the company and like mm. business? Like, what what have you had to overcome? That's uh, pretty big. The the I think the biggest hurdle if you're not ready for change, is constantly changing. Um, obviously, the last couple of years have been a big indicator of that for everybody, whether it's your personal life or business in general. Um, but always being able to kind of be a step ahead and, and anticipate um, what may be coming next and how to prepare for that, but also never getting comfortable. That's tough, right, for somebody that may want, want stability and a solid foundation and structure. It, and I come from a project management world where things have a task and a you know and an outcome and a deadline and a date and a budget and, you know all of these things and coming into running a business there still has to be some of that structure but some of it just gets thrown out the window sometimes and that is that has been I think the biggest hurdle for me personally is, is to be able to um, to walk with confidence into a place you have no idea what the you know what the footing looks like or what the you know what the floor looks like. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's been an interesting time for sure. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to yes. that. Definitely walking in with confidence in a place you've never stepped before. I right. was yeah. like me today. I've yes. never. <laughs> yes, and you're doing great. So it's perfect. I hope right? so. so. And again, just trusting yourself and trusting your knowledge and yeah. and, and what you do know and. We don't know what we don't know. I always say that, and yeah. we won't ever know until we take the opportunity to learn so and we won't ever learn everything right exactly. <laughs> exactly there's always so much learning to do every day and if we stop learning then we stop living yeah, yeah. um so something more personal what do you like to do in your spare time that doesn't involve um spare time. yeah what is it right <laughs> Well, I can tell you on a personal, it's not actually personal a level, it's another part of who I am and the work that I'm doing. I do um, currently also work with a film production company, so I love music. It's part of why my sound therapy and vibration yeah, therapy frequencies are so important to me. Um, so I do work with a film production company working on documentaries to tell people's stories um, and to tell their their about their traumas and about their obstacles and about their their successes. And really being able to connect with people, I think that's a really big part of what I do love in general. So um, I'm that person that's just kind of walk down the street and start talking to people. So I, I love connecting. I love that that aspect of life. Um, but yeah, there's not really a lot of downtime. So what I do in my downtime is I create, which, which is, is what I love, yeah. <laughs> which is still the business. So that's my life. That's... <laughs> That's kind yeah. of what everybody is looking to do, right? Yeah, exactly. Work with what they're passionate about. Yeah, mm -hmm. to be able to do that now. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Is there, is there a way we can, um, like, see this production that you're doing? Like, is it is it like a movie or a film or like uh, a so video <laughs> or like how how does that work? So right now the main company is called Real Sun Productions. Okay. Um, the subsidiary, the umbrella that we're working on with the documentaries is called You Can't Erase Me. Um, but Real Sung Productions, is, you know, you can find them on Instagram and on the website, realsungproductions.net. Um, the work with the documentaries, we're still underway, so we're, we're getting some, some trailers out, so there'll be some updates on that. Soon. That's awesome. But, uh, yeah, so Real Sung Productions. To see that, yeah. It's good. Some amazing yeah. stories coming. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to share about yourself or... Anything exciting? <laughs> I think we lost my world. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Yeah, cut, right? No. Well, um, this, is, this has become my world. I, the, honestly, um, Stone and Shadow is is Nadia. It's, it is who I am. There's so much of me in here um, that you, you get what you see. You see what you get. Like, this is, this is who I am personally. This is who I am professionally. Uh, there isn't really a lot of, um, uh, uh, there's no line drawn in the sand because it's, 
this is who I am. So I love it. Yeah. I love it. Thank I've you. actually learned a lot being here, and Thank like you. I'm looking to, you know, open up my own business and like create my own world, and and everything that you've uh, you've said really, I've absorbed, <laughs> and like looking to apply it a little bit that's into my own world. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we want other people to grow. We always say that there's more than enough for everyone. Yeah. And, you know, and don't be afraid to take the risk and to try something that you really want to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so amazing. much. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. That was amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank great. you so much. You and I great. love your store, by the way. I was oh. like, <laughs> feel... Like a high being. Oh, like, I don't know if it's like the smell or like <laughs> it's any a combination. I think the energy.